Hey, what's up, guys? Zach Calhoun here, co-founder of cloudpano.com. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to download a virtual tour. So how to create a virtual tour, download it yourself, and host it on third-party hosting that's outside of Cloud Pano. There's a lot of reasons why we added this feature, but essentially, you can do a couple things. You can do number one, you can back up or download your files of the virtual tour you created forever and have access to them uh, whenever you want. You can't edit them if they're downloaded, obviously, and that's what, that's what our platform is for, but you can download them and back them up just in case. And also, too, you can share the down downloaded files with your clients and they can host them themselves if they so choose. Um, right now, I'm at cloudpano.com. This is the software uh, marketing website. It, it, this is where you learn about the virtual tour software, Cloud Pano. If you already know about it, great, happy you're here. Let's teach you today how to use this new feature. It's really cool, a lot of fun, and I'm excited that you're going to be uh, with me today. Okay, so check this out. I'm gonna click get started to sign in or click try it out to get started to sign in. This takes me to the app. That is app.cloudpanel.com is a fast way to get there. Just type in app and it will auto-populate in Chrome. We, we always recommend Chrome. I'm gonna go to my dashboard here. I'm already logged in and I have an example tour that I'm going to be showing you today. So if you uh, look right here, this is the tour that I'm talking about. Now I played around with this already before, before I shot this video and I download this tour and I upload it to a separate third-party hosting, my own hosting provider. And um, instead of walking through step-by-step, click-by-click that process, I'm actually gonna show you a presentation of how to do it. The final output looks like this. I actually have the, the domain name, virtualtourprofit.com. You've probably heard me promote it. I own this domain um, and, I, and it's forward slash Zach. This is what appears. So I'm going to teach you how to create, how to, how to do this. I basically take the whole entire virtual tour off of Cloud Pano and host it somewhere else. Um, you must have hosting somewhere else to, to do this. And I can walk through that towards the end of the video. But, but, but first, let's just assume you already have a hosting account somewhere, Hostgator or Bluehost or something like that. Uh, tons of providers out there, GoDaddy. Let's say you have hosting already and you would just like to, um, know how to do this process. Okay, check this out. I'm going to show you a presentation. Um, just and it, The main reason why I'm doing a presentation instead of a click by click is because there's so many files and, sense, and information that is just kind of useless to see. I just want you to focus on what's important, okay? So check, so check this out. When you're in your tour editor and you're about to click publish, you will now notice, this is a little bit of a blurry photo, but it's okay, an arrow. If you click that arrow, you have the option of clicking download and host on your own server. Click that button and your tour will begin to download. You will create whatever based on the file out or based on the tour name, the file output will appear wherever you save it. So if you, I say this example on desktop. So we have a zipped file called Cloud Pound Tour. It's an example. Uh, so you find that file. It's on your local computer. Then you log into your hosting provider. Below this video, I'm going to save this spreadsheet so you can have access to the spreadsheet in the details. I happen to have a Bluehost account. Um, whether you have HostGator or have something else, um, it's they're all very similar platforms. They are just a place to utilize server hosting somewhere else. And if you want to uh, grab a, a, a Bluehost account, you totally can. I, I'm gonna share even a link with you. Um, so when you log into, and you, you have your account and you're logged into your hosting provider, third-party hosting, not Cloud Panel, third-party, there is a somewhere, somehow, there is something called a file manager. Every hosting provider is different, so I really cannot tell you where to go because for every single one, it's impossible. You're going to have to look up the file manager. In Bluehost's case, it looks like this. It's a big icon. I click file manager, and then there's an option to, to look at my all my directories or all my files. So I just click home directory, and I click it, and then I find a file on the left with a bunch of files just similar to Windows Explorer. A lot of files that are there that I can explore and look through. Well, public HTML, that is the file you are looking for. That's the one I use and it works fine. Um, and when I click on that, I scroll down to the file called Virtual Tour Profit. Now, keep in mind, I bought this domain name. I own this domain name, right? And I have assigned it to my, my Bluehost account. That's why it's there. I went through that process already, right? 
different process. You can look up how to do that. Um, typically, it's like really simple, but I cannot go into that type of support. If you don't have a domain name, it doesn't matter. It doesn't apply to you. But if you have one, like most of you guys do, it's probably already assigned to your account. Anyways, so you find this. So we're still in the file manager to, 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 to recontextualize, to bring it back. We're still in the file manager. I open up, I click on that file. In, in this case, I'm sorry, in this in this folder, to, in this case, it's called the virtual tour profit folder. Um, now, what I have here, I already have an example file, an, an, an example tour, but I go up to a little icon that says new folder. I click that icon. It creates a new folder. Now, I'm going to name this folder something, and I'm going to save it. What you name the folder will be how it find how you later find that particular file and it becomes the URL. So in this case, I put Zach, Z-A-C-H, as my folder name. Just keeping it simple, folks, whatever you want to call it. Then you go to upload. You click the button upload, and because you're already you already have this folder open, you click upload, you find that. Cloud Panel Tour example I mentioned before. And then once you click upload and upload it to your folder, in this case, the forward slash Zach folder, you'll, I see the file appear. There it is, it's 3.89 megs, it's into the folder, cool. Now you have to right click that file. So I know this is more, more audio than visual here. Right click that file and click extract, okay? What happens is, just like you would on a, on a, on a Windows desktop or, or any other zip file, it opens up that file and saves those files in the same location. So now all the assets, images, JavaScript, everything you need to know, every, everything that, that the, that the uh, Internet Explorer or the Chrome browser needs is here, okay? So in this case, you, in, in this situation, you're kind, of, you're kind of there, you're almost done. All you have to do now is go test this and go see what it looks like. So I'm gonna, uh, here's how you test it, it's very simple. I'm gonna X out this presentation. You type in your domain name. So in this case, I have virtualprofit.com forward slash the folder I mentioned, right, Zach? I'm gonna click enter, it takes me here. I'm in a third party hosted virtual tour. Now, there's a couple drawbacks to this and it's important to note you're gonna to have to add your own SSL cert. You're gonna to have to look up how to do that or pay for it, or pay somebody to do it for you. But what's cool is you have this backed up forever. So this is a fully functional working virtual tour that you create on Cloud Pano. Um, and it gives you just one more way you can distribute and share your virtual tours on Cloud, cloudpano.com. Um, and also what's really cool is that our lead gen form actually works. So you can still capture leads on your own platform. Really, really cool, right? Um, now this is only available to Pro Plus users who are Pro Plus on Cloud Panel. That's the highest level of membership on Cloud Panel. You have to have a Pro Plus account to re-edit your tours, right? Which makes sense that you would have access to this really cool feature. You must be Pro Plus. So how do you become a Pro Plus user? Very simple, go to cloudpanel.com and then you just click upgrade and it's a low, low monthly fee and you're ready to rock and roll and to create, share and host your own, on your own, your own third party hosting virtual tours on cloudpanel.com. Just go ahead and do it. Just, just commit, click click add to cart and get started today. I look forward to seeing you on, on the inside and I'm excited that you're here.